Hey everyone, I'm Kristen, this is my AuthorTube channel, and today we're talking about writing spaces, specifically mine. Let's do this! Okay, so when I was designing out my author space, my writing space, there were three main goals that I had. The first was I wanted it to feel really nice and sophisticated and like a place that I wanted to spend a lot of time in. I also wanted it to have really an inspiring feel about it. And I also wanted it to be in nice warm colors because I find that warm colors help me think better and are more inspiring for great stories as far as I go in my life. So those were the three things that I really wanted in my writing space. And that's kind of the tack I took. Um, another thing that's really important to remember with my writing space is that it's specific to a small space. Um, I love watching other people's author tube videos about their writing spaces, and I especially love it when people have full offices dedicated to their writing. Um, I live in an apartment, I have a very small living area, and it just isn't feasible for my lifestyle at this time. So what I did was I put up an armchair, I put up a table, and then I put artwork around it to kind of frame it and make it a little zone for me, which fits really well with apartment living. Um, I definitely wanted to have a space that was dedicated to writing, but given the constraints of my current lifestyle and my current living conditions, like this is what worked. And honestly, I don't know that I need a full office. Having this chair and having this table is plenty. And it gives me a sense of kind of ownership on this area and, and what I do in this area and it's perfect for what I need. So um, that was another thing that I really had to think about when I was doing and putting together and designing out my writing space. Um, but the fun thing is the decorating, am I right? So um, I mentioned that I like warm colors. I love the color red, which you'll see in my entire decor. Um, I love gallery walls too. And so what I did with the gallery wall was I used a lot of words and words as art. And then I tied in different um, quotes, different I got sayings. Um, I put up an ampersand. I put this painting that my friend did that is absolutely gorgeous. Shout out to Adam. Um, and, I, and I hung that up to kind of tie in the red. And the gallery wall really, to me, makes this my space. So that was a really fun kind of element. And I did it to the point where it's like, it goes both sides. So my chair and my table are both framed by this, by like the artwork for, from the gallery. So um, that was something that I really enjoyed doing. And I can't wait till I have a bigger house <laughs> to put up more gallery walls. Um, I also made sure to decorate my table. Um, I have my favorite books. I have a plant because plants just make me happy. I have my Himalayan salt lamp, which I don't know, it just adds like a nice warmth to my writing and to the space. Um, candle, obviously. Um, more words, etc. <laughs> um, I love these anemone flowers. I don't know if that's actually what you call them, but I read that somewhere and so I just am going with it. And then just little fairy lights as well. So just stuff that I love and that personally inspires me and I made sure to pull that in. Even though it's a small space, it has just the right amount of details so that I kind of get a good vibe when I'm sitting here. And I feel pretty sophisticated, <laughs> which is a little ridiculous. Um, anyway, so that's that um, as far as decorations go. I also make sure to keep plenty of snacks stocked, which maybe I'm a little rounder than I should be, but I like snacks. So um, I'll just show you some of my favorites. I love these goji berries. It's honestly a little bougie to eat goji berries, but I think they're so good. It's kind of like a mix between cranberries and cherries a little bit, but oh man, they're good. So just these ones are dried. I actually haven't had a whole one, like a plump one. So the dried ones are fantastic. I also have nuts. Walnuts are my favorite right now, but I've also had pistachios, um, sunflower seeds, just something with a little bit of crunch that's really good. Um, I usually keep popcorn too, but I ran out of popcorn. <laughs> um, I need some, some sweet stuff. 
So I keep Twizzlers on hand. Um, it's a relatively low fat sugar, but I probably should cut out sugar altogether. But when you're writing and you need a little craving of something, it's best to have it on hand so that you can just doink. Um, and then I also keep pretzels. These ones are toffee pretzels. So that's really helping my diet and my, uh, my healthy eating plans. <laughs> but, um, but that's, that's what I use. And then I have, um, I, I keep some diet Coke in this little wine tumbler. I don't actually drink, but I like the shape of wine glasses. So diet Coke it is. <laughs> And that's kind of my snacks and my decor. Um, the last element of my writing space that I absolutely love is this chair. Uh, this was a $65 Craigslist find. It's a chair and a half. I love the colors, I love the pattern, and I love how freaking comfortable it is. So this is like my go-to chair. Um, I only let myself sit in this chair when I'm writing or when I'm filming. Otherwise, it's off limits. Um, that way I really know it's it's all about the creative juices. So. Um, it was a definite must-have in my writing space. So yeah, that pretty much wraps up my um, my writing area. I definitely want to see your guys's. So in the comments below, um, put what you have in your writing spaces, or even link your video. Um, I would love to see that. And if you want more kind of tips and more advice on decorating and stuff like that, um, I got all my ideas from Pinterest. So I know that's where everyone gets their ideas. <laughs> but anyway. Um, I, yeah, I'm looking forward to spending more time here and getting writing and videoing done and I will talk to you guys very soon.